What's up, everyone? Welcome to This Day in Philly Sports History for October 13th, 2022. Phillies fans, I need you to breathe. Breathe. Last night definitely did not go the way we had planned. However, we are coming back to Philly tied one game apiece, which means we have two more games in Philly, which means we may not have to go back to, to Atlanta. So take a deep breath. Enjoy the day off. Center yourself. It's going to be okay. I think if you look at that game objectively last night, Reese probably would say, and I didn't see the post-game uh, interviews. It was way too late for me. but Because he may have said this. But I think he would say nine times out of ten, he catches that ball, and then all of a sudden they're out of the inning. Everything's fine. So didn't go the way we planned. Things unraveled at that point. And you see that all the time where one misplay, one error, one whatever – Changes the whole complexion of everything. Wheeler was dealing yesterday. And I think you make that out, things we're, we're having a different conversation today. So it's okay. I have some history today that hopefully will calm some of your fears as well. We're going to go back to 1993. And if you remember, in 1993, that's when the Phillies played the Atlanta Braves. And I think the difference between the talent levels on – that the Braves and the Phillies in 93 versus the difference in talent level between this Phillies team and this Braves team. 93, they were way more heavily favored over the Phillies than what this Braves team is. So keep that in mind when I go through this. But this day in Philly hit sports history in 1993 was game six of the NLCS down at the Vet. Phillies beat the Braves six to three to win the pennant, go to the first World Series in 10 years. Key part of that game is very early in the first inning, Mickey Morandini nailed a line drive off of Greg Maddox's leg. He stayed in the game, but you could tell he just was not right the the rest of the way for that game. And he didn't use this as an excuse, but between being cold in Philly, having that deep tissue bruise in his, uh, I believe it was his calf, maybe that played a role, but that's just the way the ball bounces sometimes. So... Dave Hollins hit a two-run homer in the fifth, put the Phillies up for good. So hopefully that will calm some of your fears that, again, that Braves team versus that Phillies team and this Braves team versus this Phillies team, much heavier favorites back then. The Phillies were able to, to pull off the, the series win on that, and they won the first game. They lost the next two, so they were down 2-1 to one in that series. Came back and won three in a row. Now, this divisional series this year is only a best of five. So you don't necessarily want to have to get down two to one. But know that a, a Phillies team that was playing a Braves team who was coming off a World Series berth. I don't think they won it in 92. But uh, they were able to, to come back and, and stay the course. So I need everybody in Philadelphia right now just breathe. It's going to be okay. We have two more games in Philly no matter what. We need to win at least one of them. If we win two of them, we don't have to go back to Atlanta. So there you have it. Be sure to like this on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have some Now the basketball season is getting ready to kick up. I have some things that I, I want to put on the YouTube channel just uh, specifically for that. This now is if you're watching on YouTube, if you like podcasts, this is now a micro podcast anywhere you get your podcast. My uh, full length podcast, Back to the Future, is also available. We dropped a new episode this week for Eagles Dallas Week. Very good, very good, entertaining listen. I brought my brother on to have a discussion about the rivalry, so give that a listen. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Jimbo underscore Mont. Breathe. It's going to be okay. I promise you it's going to be okay. You still have Nola coming, so we need to win game three. I'll put it that way. Might start panicking a little bit if we lose game three, but even then, we're okay. It's going to be okay, Philadelphia. Have yourselves a Thursday, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.